Hello and welcome back to another episode of Wyverns and Weirdos. Uh, before we get started properly, uh, does anyone have any announcements? Um, as per usual, hit us up at Wyverns Weirdos on Twitter, Wyverns and Weirdos on Facebook. You can reach me personally at E Kareens or at E Karina pretty much everywhere. And um, keep using the hashtag Wyverns and Weirdos, guys. We love you. We do. We absolutely adore you. <laughs> we so so this episode is going up. Or this episode is recording the same day that the first part of the Hob Job is going up. Second, no, part. second part of the Hob Job. Came no, up. first part went yeah. up on YouTube. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. we got a fair bit. And we I got don't... we got our yeah. first YouTube comment. Oh, <gasps> we cool. did. What did it say? <laughs> it was ale spread. Followed by laughing. <laughs> oh, okay. no. I was like, yes. is, is it is it like yes. something dumb like first or shout out oh, to yes. whoever that YouTube user yes. was. Okay. Yeah. I adore we'll you and love you just for that one comment in this good. episode. Oh my god, also I wanna just like say for the record that Rook does not like ale spread. Oh <laughs> put it out there. We I think share uh, the opinion. Yes, our, our first comment anti vegemite from Excellent. uh Mando Wuhan oh. Oh. <laughs> is ale spread followed by two crying laughing oh, emojis. Yay. Thank you. We so love you. Miles shout spread. out to Amanda Wuhan if yeah. you're still we love you, Amanda. If you're still watching <laughs> yep. at this point. <laughs> I hope you are. Thank you. Yes. Excellent. Um, d- yeah. Yeah, what did we do in the last episode, Darby? Because it's been a little break. We had a little well, break. And I'm not sick anymore. So wait, none yes. of us are sick. Yay. Yeah. Oh touch wood, touch wood. Yeah. Yes. First session back. And I'm we'll, not get, sick. we'll get to the, the recap in a moment. Jake, any? Oh, uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. No, I have absolutely nothing to add to what no. was already said. Laura, any announcements? As usual, uh, is your local store selling Birdie's Elixir? Maybe it should be. <laughs> No, I gotta get it in camera. Might uh, try and um, describe, uh, try and petition your local sellers to have it. Um, I don't care if it's like camera. threatening, <laughs> seducing, and just uh, don't do anything <laughs> old Birdie wouldn't do himself. Thanks, no, guys. <laughs> <laughs> Excellent. Tune into the video to see some fun hijinks. But yeah, I don't otherwise... even know what these are, but we have like mini cocktail. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. I'll have to find some proper. I have to make some like homebrew ones at some point. But the yeah. the other thing, the other thing that uh, happened uh, in in the video version this week is that we have a visual intro. Yes. Yeah. Uh, which is old news to you guys, but to us, it is very, very new. I made it yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> um, and we're actually going to get to... Debut it. Have, like, yeah, we're actually going to be able to have it play for us to give us a sense of the timing. Yay. Yeah. Hooray. So, without further ado... Let's uh, let's get started with another episode of Wyverns and Weirdos. Does it have sex? Hi guys. So, uh, this is me realizing that after what the the ages of it that our first version of that uh, the the dice in the logo was upside down. <laughs> what a critical Whoops. miss, yeah. silly boy. <laughs> hopefully, hopefully that's fixed uh, when the party got to level five. To be fair, it's kind of accurate. So. so yeah. I- at least for me, so I think it's a it's very true to the podcast and video. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so where we last left off, the party uh, were traveling through the city of Wildshape, 
which has just been overtaken by uh, a cult, uh, an infernal cult to... Has it been revealed to you guys? Yes, it has, because you found you found an insignia at one point, and one of you rolled high enough on your religion check to realize that it was specifically a cult of Glacia. Uh, one of the one of the uh, nine arc devils who rule over the nine layers of hell. Um, uh, Glacia, in particular, ruling over Malbolge. Um, so you have been traveling through the city, um, quite slowly in comparison to, uh, usual day-to-day fare, uh, trying to avoid cultists around every corner, but eventually there was, there was one cultist, and you've only been here a day, and you've had a couple of run-ins, mm-hmm. but there was, there was one, uh, set that managed to follow you dra- down, track you down, uh, through the use of a uh, arcane object, which is now in Anya's possession after a battle. Oh, with yeah. Them. This particular group of cultists uh, happen to be... Uh, familiar. Yeah, familiar. The, the companions to one of Anya's old uh, adventuring colleagues uh, who the party had had a run-in, um, a run-in with when they went to claim their reward from the hop job. Uh, <laughs> and, and one of them stole uh, the the pipe, <laughs> the, pan the, flute. the pan flute that Anya had. Uh, and, and in they return, got we stole their lives. Yeah, no, yeah that was silly, yeah. taking a fire with us. <laughs> yeah. But, yeah, apparently... We'll be back. Apparently, they say. Yeah. They, they are the cho- we are the chosen. <laughs> As they say. Shut yes. up, Archer. And after after that combat, you uh, hold yourselves up in. I believe it was the tavern, wasn't it? Mm, the, I think the, it was the, just like the, it was somewhere. Yeah, yeah. random building number in, two. Yeah. Somewhere that you, you hold broke yourselves into up in a building again. and rested for the night. Uh, at which point. Uh, Bertie was met with a usual dream. This time, though, highlighting a blood red diamond. Yes, a very nice fetching blood yes. blood red diamond, I must say. Uh, and Anya was visited by uh, an old benefactor, shall we say? Uh, a pact keeper. Yes, an infernal devil who seems to be working against uh or seem, seems to have something against the the cult here because uh they were willing to grant more power to Anya in order to as i said uh even the odds mm. um which frankly insulting <laughs> <laughs> she was doing pretty good okay um, but that that grants uh, Anya one use of hex and darkness each per day. Excellent. Which is going to be very tasty to play around with. So, what do you want to do? Oh, um, well, Newman wakes up from his uh, Newman wakes up from, from his other thing though. from his uneventful sleep. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Newman's sleep was uneventful, but his day... Yes. Yeah, he, he got possessed momentarily by his sword, the the spirit within his sword, and the sword uh, became somewhat enhanced, uh, dealing additional magical damage to targets. But, I didn't get to but, use it, though. <laughs> but, yeah, like yeah. because it, it, it activated just as the last person died that we were fighting. Yeah. So... Yeah, that's the only right. person who so, witnessed it yeah. was Rook. Yeah. It was Rook, yeah. So. <laughs> but yeah, no, he... Uh, I think I said in the previous episode, he sort of uh, didn't get to sleep very easy. Bit shaky, mm. are you, bit, dear? Bit shaky, yeah. Why do you sound like my nan? <laughs> <laughs> I sound we nothing all... like either of them. <laughs> <laughs> Poor Stay old away human. from my cheeks. <laughs> By the way, um, uh, is that uh, you like, and your fucking tooth? I know that's a stereo, like a stereotype, but like my nan's like really like went ham on the cheeks. What about you guys? Like, 
I've never had no, that. No, yeah. yeah. No. no. I, yeah. You just must have very Def- pinchable definitely, face definitely cheeks. <laughs> yeah. I, I guess I should specify definitely <laughs> face cheeks. <laughs> That's, that's good to know. <laughs> I'm glad. Um, but yeah, no. Um, yeah, so uh, he's going to wake up, um, feeling very refreshed. All right. Excellent. Anya wakes up in a bit of a. She, not really a start so much, but um, if anyone was paying attention, they'd notice that she looks exhausted. Dis- uh, exhausted and a little bit resigned. That's understandable. And she's a bit quiet this morning. Ooh, okay. Sort of <laughs> I imagine, like, th- uh, if we had our rations or something, we're all at the table, but just no one's talking. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Actually, yeah. that's probably exactly what's that's happening. Super fun. Just, like, Rookie is, like, heating up her food with, like, flames that she's producing from her hand. Oh, that's so <laughs> handy. I love it. <laughs> Um, but he's probably already eaten because, of course, he took the last watch um, of the night. Um, he and he spent his time studying like uh, the stuff he got. Um, and then, pretty much as soon as he saw you guys start to stir, he was, and he probably ate something, probably just drank something. Um, he just started going around just looting stuff from this store. Not like big things. He's not a thief. He's a petty thief. <laughs> He's a petty thief. He's just stealing little trinkets. Just little things. Like, And if you were looking, he's like stealing stuff like leaves and things. So don't ask him about what that is. But um, yeah. Is this a herbalist store? <laughs> uh, no, but there's probably stuff like that medicine. I need. Things that I require. Um, yeah, and um, oh, so while he's doing this, he's going to like Oh, hey guys, nice to see you're all up bright and early. Rook, I love the uh, the flame thing. Nice crispy breakfast, I see. Very clever. Thanks, it's a really uh, practical way. It makes sense. Actually, that reminds me. Um, How did you enjoy that sample of Birdie's Elixir that I gave you last time we saw? I haven't had the chance to talk to you about it, given <laughs> we've been kind of mer- being... Everyone's been very murdery towards us lately, but now that we've got a couple of moments while those two lovely guys that I spend time with are having their brekkie, how are you, you know, how have you enjoyed it? How has Birdie's Elixir been enriching your life? Well, I, I did take it when I had a, a bit of a, a nasty gash to oh, the leg, great. and I can't say it did much to heal it. Is it meant for something else? I mean, is your leg still there? Well, yeah. Well, there you go! See, isn't that great? Magical disinfectant. <laughs> Precisely. Did a great job. But I must tell you, though, like, um, you know what would be really great? Buying the full version, the full bottle of Birdie's Elixir. Only three gold. What do you say? What do you say, big girl? What do you say? I mean, I've already got a health potion, so. But health potions are so pricey. I mean, it is really terrible what, you know, the. The man has been doing to drive the prices of healing up. Whereas, like, Birdie's Elixir? Okay, not as instantaneous as um, health potions, but you know, it does the trick. What do you say? Three gold? Three gold, hey? That, yeah, that's a good argument, but you still haven't really said what it does. Oh boy, oh well, what doesn't it do? <laughs> I mean, um, okay, uh, uh, as I said last time, hairstyling gel? Again, <laughs> not very helpful for the fire, but you know, I mean, it probably does have some kind of accelerant uses, so maybe try it next time. I'm sure it'll do its trick. Yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, it's a confidence booster. If you drink it, you'll feel more confident. Not as confident as me, but hey, also not as annoying, right? <laughs> <laughs> I'm good on that front. Okay, okay. Um, uh, it, uh... It helps you put on extra muscle. Um, don't worry, don't worry. That's completely legal. Not any kind of like, you know, <laughs> druggy type thing. It just, you know, helps you like get more muscular. Although I guess that's kind of you're in uh, full supply there. <laughs> I like to do this on my own. Okay. Uh, so um, Anya, who, for the most part, the past like couple of sessions or so couple of days has been kind of helping you 
spruce um, <laughs> yeah. the Bertie's Alexa. Um, she just kind of sighs and she's like, Bertie. Yes? This is neither the time <laughs> nor the place. It has been a long night and I'm sure once this city is no longer burning that you can palm off some of your snake oil to someone else. <laughs> uh, well, I mean, it probably ha- it could have some effect on snakes. Um, that's okay. You guys are a little bit crabby, a little bit hangry, we could say. Rook, just come to the side. I'll, I'll just have a... Okay, so, like, <laughs> let's... Entertaining. Uh, let's talk out of earshot of those yeah. other pointy-eared people. <laughs> um, I don't want to annoy them, of course. I don't want to be annoying. rolls her eyes and <laughs> ends up going to, like, the other side of the room and, like, feeding Catherine or, like... She's just I'm in a grumpy mood. Poor Anya. Yeah. Yeah. I'm loving this, it's but fair. I know that's what Anya would have done. It's very yeah. fair. Newman is just eating. Like he doesn't, Poor boy. He's listening. He's it's listening. Fair. It's fair. He's, he's just eating. Man. It's understandable. <laughs> you know, let's... Okay, okay, okay. Um, uh, Elf to fire, Janassi, okay? On the down low, um, you know. You haven't impressed me much so far, but go on. Uh, okay, um... Ah, uh, uh, Bertie's elixir is also an excellent uh, bedroom aid. <laughs> I can guarantee you that your uh, your man will be more than happy with the bedroom situation, if you know what I mean, <laughs> or at least you will be after he takes it. <laughs> I mean, hopefully. <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah, you really need to work on your sale pitches. I'm not interested in men or the kind of bedroom situation. It's it's good. Yo. Oh. That was a, hmm. Okay. <laughs> I've really uh yeah, um well, <laughs> yeah. No, I, I'm a big fan. Um probably won't help you in like your lady situation or uh your platonic hand holding and things like that, but um uh, uh yeah, I'm gonna go and uh, I'm gonna go check upstairs. I'll see you later. <laughs> Let's just forget Sounds that good. ever Sounds happened. <laughs> okay. Uh g- yeah. Bye bye. Not nice talking. Forget all about that. <laughs> I'm getting flashbacks to what uh, Newman overheard last session. I yeah. can't remember oh, the exact oh. phrasing, but like between Tanif and so- oh, something, no. something to do with her trigger Newman finger and oh, it working. No. Really well. <laughs> yeah. Like, Magic fingers, yeah, am I yeah, right? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, that was innocent conversation about the fact that Tanit now has has a form of multi-attack. Yeah! But if you guys want to be dirty about it... <laughs> Look, um, I mean... Speaking no, of, but okay. Speaking of Tanip, um, when you walked away, Tanip uh, goes to follow you. <laughs> and um, you've, you've got Hafrin with you, don't yeah. you? Yeah, yeah. Um, so you see, not not clearly, but you see that Tanip has a bottle with her. Um, she says, "Look, I um, I've spoken to a uh, spoken to I've spoken to Birdie, and he he doesn't seem too up on it. But okay, long story short, um, I I." Th- I think I may have been able to uh, make the the uh, elixir a bit less scammy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, bless uh, you, Tanip. <laughs> excuse me. I mean, it's it's a bit more expensive to make, and I th- I think Bertie will have to up his prices, but. It, Here, have have this, uh, and she passes you the bottle. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Anya holds it and she examines it, and she's just got this like bewildered look on her face. Not only at the fact that like Tanup's giving this to her, but also that Tanup's pretty much confirmed what she like. <laughs> like Tanup, she knew that she didn't know, and she's like, like, "I'll murder you in your sleep, <laughs> Tanup." <laughs> I think I think Tanip's worked out that you yeah, worked out. Yeah. Like, <laughs> oh, for sure. Yeah. Tanip, what is it meant to do? Well, because like, I mean, like, 
you've heard Bertie. He gives the spiel of it doing yeah. everything. <laughs> no, it's 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 not that far. I'm, I might be able to do a bit of like a s- sort of sleight of handy thing of making various ones for different purposes, but that one is kind of a, a a health tonic of sorts. It's it's like a healing potion, but. Not as... I don't know why me as a player is, like, holding an imaginary <laughs> potion, just like... It's it's like a healing potion, but it's not as potent as even the the basic ones for adventurers. But, it, it like... But for regular people who are suffering illnesses, yeah. this might work. Yeah, maybe not illnesses, but, like, any injuries and... Turn up. Kind of no offense to Bertie, I like the guy, but why are you passing this on to him? You could make things out of this. <laughs> you, if you figured out a way for this to work, why are you letting him claim all the profit? Why are you letting him, when you know that he's scamming people, do this? I mean, he's, he, because it's been a good experience as, like, while, while I've been working on stuff, like he's, he's been able to supply me with materials to experiment, even if he's not really wanting to sell them, because it's easier to sell people on something cheap that doesn't actually work than something more expensive that does. How, how far away are you from the table? <laughs> Oh, I assumed we're having, like, a hushed conversation in the corner. I'd say yeah. you'd... Perception. Can I roll for perception? Yeah. yeah. Kitty, kitty ear roll. I love you, Dye. Yeah, because this, oh, no. this, this was yeah. happening... Because no. this was happening at the same time Yeah, at as... the moment, you're the only person sitting at that table, yeah. so it's yeah. fair for you to just okay. be like, what the so, fuck is going on? So you on? sort of hear, like, a, a little bit of, like, a bang, and then you look at the table, and there's, like, a bowl, like, rolling on the table. You're like, a... <laughs> you fucking idiot. <laughs> What and then you, you, you look back to Tanup and I rolled a 19, oh, uh, which, which I'm pretty sure is just <laughs> 19. Uh, no, actually, that goes up quite a bit from memory. Uh, 22. Oh, 22. Uh, yeah, 22 for perception. I'm assuming that goes. Do you do you have proficiency Plus three in that? Proficiency, yeah. yes. Because you've got negative to wisdom, don't you? Yes. Yeah. That sounds about right. Yes. <laughs> uh, 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 yeah, so you see the ball rolling on the table and then you look back to Tanip and Newman is just in between you two. <laughs> it's like, you could call it Tanip's Tonic. <laughs> Holds up her hands like uh, to just be like, yeah, like full of green. <laughs> Tana, why not? If you can truly help people, like, yes, you've interned on the birdie. <laughs> Sorry, Laura. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm, I'm just you're, you're, I'm you're, 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 you're selling. Your, you're yeah. trying to sell your snake oil to Rook right now. <laughs> like, yeah. he doesn't need you to sell fake products. And if you've got a real product, you could sell them. You could make yourself from this yes you've learned a lot from him but uh you know i learned a lot from my parents eventually well they died and i got new parents but then eventually after i learned a lot from those parents i left the nest admittedly uh my uh, pseudo foster sibling stayed with me uh, for a very very long time but after that, I was independent, and look at me now. Actually, don't look. Never mind. Uh, I mean, Newman, anything to add? Admittedly, I've only really worked out the theory behind this, like, a f- a what, earlier this week, and only managed to get it to work for the first time, like, last night when I was experimenting with it. Regardless, I think it's something to consider, especially considering, like, we are all profiting off jobs like this. You may well, at the end of this, have the funding to do this, to launch yourself from the ground up if you don't want a life of danger. And even if you don't want to call it Tanup's Tonic and go your own separate way, you should probably ask for a pay rise. <laughs> oh, definitely. I think it's pay rise time. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Sorry, buddy. 
<laughs> Bernie like sneezes in the middle of like trying to pitch his horrible pitch to Rook. <laughs> Weird. Yeah. Well, I'll, I'll I'll have a think about it once this is all over. If whatever your decision, Tanya, we're friends now, and yeah. we've got your back. Thanks, guys. <laughs> Double finger. <game. laughs> <laughs> Excellent. All right. I love touching moments with Tanner. <laughs> it's really cute. My girl. All right. So, what do you guys want to do? Um, um, I'm going to finish eating my breakfast. Oh, yeah. <laughs> nice and Breakfast and then onwards and upwards? Yeah, Towards sure. almost certain death? <laughs> well, well, you know, some of us will be. Potential certain death. <laughs> Potential sadness. <laughs> so oh, not sad. <laughs> that optimism. Oh boy. Excellent. Well, yeah. I mean, so I got. Birdie is just still two upstairs. New dice, with his stuff, draw. So. Oh boy. Yeah. I got new spells. I should probably prepare them. Yeah. Actually, Tanner does as well. If I actually no, I went through and prepared her new spells. I, I didn't have to prepare my spells because Darby did it for me. Yeah. <laughs> because you have three spells that, you, other than cantrips, you have three spells that can be used once a day each. Uh, three? Because you've still, you've still got access to Find Familiar. Oh, once right. Per day. Yeah. Yep. No, dumb. Me, dumb. Hello. Mm. My name is Dumb. Big Dumb. Hello. Nice to meet you. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So. You all, those of you who prepare spells, prepare your spells for the day. Um, you, uh, you see Tanit's got, yeah, this, this kind of array of different potions on her belt. Oh, I should add, um, real Bertie elixir. No, <laughs> Tanit's tonic. Oh, <laughs> mentor. oh, oh boy. <laughs> yes. And I will tell you what that does when it comes up. Yeah, excellent. Yes. Mm. Actually, can Rook um, go over to Newman? Oh, yeah. I yeah. About this, yeah. I mean, like, Rook can. <laughs> <laughs> will she? Yeah. Don't, do, don't do that dumb teacher thing. It's like, excuse me, Miss Card, go to the toilet. And they're like, I sure hope you can. <laughs> <laughs> excellent. Yeah. Um, she's going to go to Newman and be like, hey, how are you holding up after that last battle? It um, t- looked like it took a bit of a toll on you. It, uh, look, I'll be real with you. It's not the first time it's happened, but it definitely hasn't been as bad as that. So, uh, yeah, I'm not too sure what happened there. Uh, all of a sudden, after I made a very witty, uh, remark to our friend Archer over there, um, I saw a lot of yellow. I'm colorblind, by the way. Uh, so, like... It was quite a weird experience shifting uh, colour hues. That was quite strange. But uh, on top of that, I felt very powerful. I felt very strong. Uh, to be honest, I'm a little bit sad I didn't get a, you know, test the waters. But after that, yeah, no, it's just uh, I felt strong, but I didn't feel myself. So, yeah, I'm not sure what that was. Did you? I'm assuming you saw it. Oh, I saw that your your eyes went a little weird. Yeah. Oh, I'm not quite sure what you mean by this. Yeah, Did you I get guess a I sort of spell cast on you again. I... Like they tried to do the command spell on you, or some sort of. Is it something like that? No, this was different. This was definitely different. Um. Um. Yeah. No, I'm. I'm not too particularly sure. Like. Yeah, I don't know. It's just something came over me. But um, I feel like I might have hesitated a little bit. I'm guessing that's why you didn't really see me do anything. I, as if I was a little bit frozen. But yeah, no, I don't think um, it's a bad thing. Though. It don't think it's going to um, hold you back in combat, or if anything, I think it might help. Interesting. Maybe it's something I can work with. But uh, look, I'll look into a little bit more. Hopefully I can find some more about this. But it's definitely on my mind. Yeah, um, but yeah, yeah thanks, you thanks for checking up on me. Tips. I know that the, the barbarian lifestyle can be quite similar. And sometimes it kind of feels like it's a completely different state when you're raging. It's just like a switch flicks and then you 
you can't control it anymore, so... Yeah, and you I, also I took a beating. <laughs> oh! <laughs> Are you okay? I should be fine now. I'm feeling a bit better. Like, I'm pretty sure I saw you get hit in the face with an axe, like, four times. <laughs> yeah... Yeah, there are a lot of them out there. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta watch out for those axes. <laughs> I mean, it, it was a good battle. I oh, yeah. stayed on my feet, so that's fine. I'm, I'm happy with it. And I got this new sword. That's a fine looking blade. Thank you. Did you get anything? Yes. <laughs> Gave you a sword, I think. Oh, I got, yeah. a, I got a plus one sword. No. Yeah, that's right. That's but, awesome. like, yeah, is that going to replace your, uh... I, I'm... God damn, your accent is contagious, by the way. <laughs> like, I, it, it, I've been trying so hard not to do it, but it's it's seeping I'm into the... I've been so sitting here joy. and just noticing you just <laughs> quietly slipping into it. Oh, it's so hard. The um, weird thing like, is, they're the two people at the table who are supposed to be from the same continent anyway. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I love... I, something I wanted to say last episode was, I love how, like... Diverse the accents are yeah. in uh, yes. Karas. You know what would be really funny though? If this Australian accent of Newman. It's more of a New Zealander now. Well, yeah, yeah, but. Started if off Australian. His accent, but... like, is less so much his actual accent and more so much, like, what he thinks he should sound like uh, in this continent. So, so, and so, so that's why when so, he's talking with Rook, he slips back in. So you think he's sort of, like, re- repressing, repressing his, um, oh, his actual true. accent? Yeah, he's trying to fit in. <laughs> oh, maybe. <laughs> it's, it's like, you know, like, yeah, an American trying to do a British accent or yeah. something. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's cute. All right, hang on, I need it. <clears throat> uh, uh... Yeah, nah, you, Newman, the Newman, there we go. Let yeah, okay, through. I found him. He's over here. All right, well, thank you for waiting, everyone. Uh, yeah, so uh, are you going to use that sword instead of that axe, do you reckon? Mm. Or, uh, it doesn't look as impressive. No, I... Uh... <laughs> I just feel like you're like... like I no, I mean, I mean, the sword, it doesn't look as good as your battle axe. No, I do think my battle axe will... Pack a bit more of a punch. I've had it for longer too. I'm a bit attached to it. But yeah, fair it's enough. It's good to have backup. Fair enough. Fair enough. So, what's the plan for you after we finish up here? Are you going to uh, permanently join the party? Hey. <laughs> eh? mm, well, I do. I do enjoy being part of a group again. It's it's quite nice, but and uh, we're a pretty good group. I have to admit. Yeah. You're- yeah, you're pretty good. Yeah. I'm very you're pretty good. You're, you're, not, the, you're, you're pretty good. the best group. I just had a weird conversation with Bernie, but, like, apart from that, you're, 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 you're a good guy. Bernie, it's a good group. I think I may have overheard some of that weird conversation. Look, this is... The only reason why Brooke is saying this is because she wasn't here for the mayonnaise incident. <laughs> oh, true. True, true, uh, true. I can't wait to listen to that episode. <laughs> um, just... Don't eat beforehand? Question. <laughs> no, it's not that bad. Yeah, look, if you as listeners stumble across an episode labeled the mayonnaise episode, I don't know if that's gonna be the actual title. It might just I mean, hit you sideways. They're probably I'm assuming they've this listened already. to it by this yeah. point if they've gotten this far. Oh yeah. We're just true. A war flashback I don't now. understand yeah. chronology. <laughs> For all of you who have just skipped this random yeah. episode, you have missed out. Yeah, <laughs> go back. Listen you are to the out of the loop. Episode. If you uh, did skip over the mayonnaise episode, good for you. Yeah. Um, yeah. But yeah, you're gonna um, join us and fight baddies, earn money, and drink wine. Hmm. Make it sound like a Scooby mean- Gang. <laughs> We basically are. Maybe eventually, off but un- off brand. unfortunately, I've got my own uh, my own thing I've got to take care of. The head. Oh well, that too. Yeah, it's um. Oh, I heard. I better get it to a cleric again. So. Yeah, I was just gonna say, how is that head doing? It's doing okay. I keep <laughs> taking it to a cleric. I've, I've been watering it every day. Oh, yeah. <laughs> How's your head? Can't complain. <laughs> Um, but no, I'm still trying to find some leads about what happened to my tribe. So once I've got that all sorted, 
And if I'm still alive, I could join you guys, I guess. Alrighty, I'll keep that in mind. But I guess? Hmm. Because one of the main reasons why I do ask is... Yeah. And I'm, I'm pretty bad with memories, so just, uh, just uh, tell me if I'm wrong. But did I say I would give you a platinum coin <laughs> if you joined our party? <laughs> Because I have, I, I, I think I said that, but I'm not too sure. Oh my god! Oh, listeners, I called out Newman. I called out Jake because the episode before the one where I arrive, Jake says if he gets a tough party member, he'll give them two platinum. Oh, was it two? It was two. Oh my god! Oh, it was two out a second Jeez, how much money did young Newman have? <laughs> I don't think he assumed this was actually going to happen yeah. because we're all noodles. <laughs> um, I don't think I've ever heard that, but I could always do with some platinum. <laughs> all right, well, one platinum is yours. It's just like that. If you join the party. Oh, okay. Well, I'll. Will that still be offer in the future? Can I have that in writing? Yeah, sure. Um, <laughs> finally, a use for these random items. <laughs> that you picked up. Okay. So Newman grabs his. I think they were just scribing tools, and he has parchment. He has ink. He, he looted them all from dead people. So. <laughs> uh, <laughs> <laughs> That's fair. Uh, That's right, because of the um, yeah, the, the beholder. Yeah, uh, yes. the, yeah. the wizards of the room. <laughs> yeah. Um, all right. Yeah, he'll he'll write it on some parchment, um, sort of like a credit card sized parchment, <laughs> saying like I owe you one platinum. <laughs> Flips over to the other side for joining. You, no, you flip it over party. and it's one of Birdie's cards. <laughs> <laughs> No, I don't. Have, I don't business. think I have one. You do have. I do you have both, one. You both have one. It you is, have several. It is so. And the Wizards of the Ruins had one. Yeah, it is. Yeah, it yeah. is so far down the bottom of the bag of holding that <laughs> got three, it may be lost. Three business cards. Um, and then um, he doesn't really have a signature. I haven't really thought one up, so he's just gonna like dab the oh. ink on his paw a little bit. Oh, paw print. That's very. But then good. now he's like, oh, that was dark. <laughs> Do you, do you have pressed the digitation? <laughs> I do not. <laughs> uh, he tries to think in his head. It's quite difficult, I know. Uh, does he have a party member that may or may not know that spell? Uh, does he ask Anya? He well, I'm, I'm not sure if we we're all together at the moment. Are you guys? Uh, we just would like, be. I think we're are you guys, are we all just go. like talking. You guys are I'm just probably just casually chatting. Like in, the yeah. in the background. In the background. Tannen has it. Do you, all right. do you he, ask Anya though? Um, no, he he's just sort of he'll it's sort of like a spur of the moment thing. And God then damn it! And then he'll he'll give you the the, uh, the parchment, credit size parchment. Wow. There you go. Thank you for that. That's not a, a problem. Oh, I'm glad that you guys value my assistance. Yeah, you're also very good at keeping all of us alive and protected. I do appreciate it. <laughs> I saw some of the things you did before. It did not go unnoticed. But, um, yeah, I'm going to have to cut this short. I need to go ask if anyone can clean this up. Oh, yeah. <laughs> can you clean this up? I've got some water. I don't mm. know if that would cut it. I can No, I don't think it would. the water. No. It's very oily. I can burn I feel like, it off. I feel like... That's a bad idea. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, um, well, thanks for checking up on me. Um, oh, I'm glad and, you're uh, here. We'll yeah, talk more once all this is done. Absolutely. All right. Goes up to you, Mrs. <laughs> oh, did you ask me? All right. He goes up. He just like shows you his paw. He's like, I did something stupid. Uh, can you help me? Can you clean up? Oh, me? oh dear. Can I have a look? And she grabs his paw. Wow, this doesn't sound scripted <laughs> or premeditated. <laughs> no. She grabs sure. his paw and she just pushes it across oh. his own chest. Oh. I, I resist. <laughs> strength <laughs> check. Yeah, roll and oppose strength <laughs> check. I resist, not on this road. Come on, new dice, How new adopted dice. Don't get me wrong. How if either of you, you have athletics, dirty. you can add proficiency to it. <laughs> Oh my gosh, that's so funny. I have athletics. I'm proficient in athletics. Do you want me to add more proficiency? So you do it as a proficient... You do it as an athletics check. 
Oh, yeah, oh. You're, you're nowhere near me, son. You're oh, nowhere damn, near. that's an 18, not an 8. Oh, Newman's yeah, flexing you're nowhere today. near me. <laughs> wow. You're mean. So what? For, uh, for the podcast listeners okay. and for the dungeon master, Anya, what did you roll? Anya rolled an 11 and Newman rolled... 24. <laughs> <laughs> is athletics something, is one of your expertise? Proficiency, How but it's a, plus, it's a plus so six. Um, yeah. uh, I go, well, you're no help. And I sort of just like push my paw out of the way, making sure not to touch you with it because he would not wish it upon the world for anyone to get inked up on their favourite clothes. <laughs> Tan up size and just oh, yeah. I guess he sort of like does that of and yours. sort of does it in tan ups yeah. field of vision. Yeah. And then he's just like, um, "See, and, look, I on, did hang it." Hang on, hang on, but no, no, hang on. He'll pause for a bit and then he'll just go and wipe his paw on your clothes. <laughs> oh no, because she would have seen it. She has a really high perception. So that that would be. Roll, roll <laughs> an attack, uh, like essentially roll a, an attack. I'm uh, not bothered um, doing this. No. All right. And he'll just go. All right. All clean then. <laughs> yes, I did it. See, I told you I'm magic. <laughs> uh, Newman's real trusting. <laughs> That's twenty. That's a twenty. Newman's real gullible and trusting. She also throws a wink at Tanner. Uh, yeah, that was a natural eight. <laughs> so, and an inside is just plus oh zero. Oh my gosh. So, yeah. See, I did it. Bernie just saw his dad. He's like, whoa. But, but Tana, did. But. Did you both do that? No, I did it. Tana just pretended. Isn't that right, Tana? Yes. <laughs> oh. oh, I'll keep that in mind. Yeah, but so come to me next time. Just don't try that again. <laughs> it was... I was trying to help you. By wiping it on my... But it wouldn't have actually made it. See, you're clean now. Mm, all right. <laughs> all right. Oh. All right. Anyways, we're off to... We shall leave. <laughs> we're off to see the devil. The, the wonderful the devil. The terrible devil of... Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it rolls off the tongue. So, um, like once you guys are finished <laughs> pestering each around. other, um, Bertie comes sauntering back downstairs. Um, he's like, "Okay, are we all ready to rock and roll, guys." Yep. I am ready to both rock and to roll on out of this building. That's what I love to hear. Now I have been up all night. Well. A portion of the night while I've been doing what, keeping watch, now I've prepared a new spell for you all. Oh. Are you excited to see it? Does it clean ink? No? What? Why? <laughs> why would you want to clean ink? Could you spill ink somewhere? I don't think uh, the shopkeeper is really going to care. Bernie's and really good. Especially <laughs> after like... <laughs> how, did you, how did you know? <laughs> Especially after, like, you know, some thieves went through this place and stole all of their stuff. Yeah, terrible thing, that. Terrible. Terrible thing. Terrible, terrible, terrible. So, I have a fun little thing. So, I gotta try it out. Still not 100% sure if it's gonna work, but if it does, hey, it'll be great, yes. Newman puts his hand up. He's like, I volunteer. Okay. Well, if it works, actually, it should work for all of us. Oh. Okay. Now he gets well, out. Well, I volunteer most. <laughs> <laughs> you can stand right next to me, Newman, if you like. You can even hold my hand if you wish. Yeah, sure. All right. Okay. <laughs> he holds Newman's hand. And with his <laughs> other hand, he takes out... Um, he seems to have, like, ashes in his hand. And he um, then gets it. And then... And then, like, puts it, and so the, like that ash goes all over him, and then um, he's going to get soot. <laughs> yeah, and all over Newman too, I guess, because it's on. <laughs> he's holding his hand. Suiting up. Basically, um, so a, a veil of shadows and silence radiates from Bertie, and then you kind of feel it envelop all of you guys. Ooh. So this is Pass Without a Trace. It's a level two cleric spell that I learned when I leveled up. <laughs> That's cool. Yeah. 
<laughs> so basically, the, des- the description Shadow. is: for the duration, each creature you choose within 30 feet of you, including you, has a plus 10 bonus to dexterity stealth checks and can't be tracked except by magical means. So, like, it adds onto your stealth checks, and from the description, like, we are kind of invisible. We're kind of we're. We're not as noticeable, yeah. We're the shadows. So, yeah. Yeah. Um, And the interesting thing is, um, yeah, we're we're, we're basically shadows because a creature that receives this bonus leaves behind no tracks or other traces of its passage through anywhere. So we're kind of shadow people now. Yeah. So you can't, you still can't just walk out in broad daylight. Yeah, we still go sneak. But if you're sticking to the shadows, essentially. We go to sneak. Then you're inconspicuous. Yeah. Okay, um, guys, so... Um, and you guys will, I, I guess, understand this because you see Bernie disappear into, like, some shadows and then Newman go into shadow mode and then you guys feel something go wash over you, um, on your end. Rook and Tanev, who's like, Excellent, excellent, I'm pretty sure it's worked. Now, what this does is we're kind of going to be a little bit more... You know how you two are, like super sneaky thieves and kind of like one with the shadows. I resent that, but go on. (laughs) Well, super sneaky, roguishly wonderful people. (laughs) Well, this thing literally does make us one with the shadows. So as long as we stick to them and we're sneaky, we can pass by pretty much without a trace. Isn't that great? (laughs) I I think this will... uh Stop us from dying a lot more. <laughs> it would be great. Now, in theory, I still haven't tested it out because I kind of came out with it last night and kind of found some components for it somewhere. Um, it's probably going to last for an hour, so should be a fair amount. We can go do a bit of sneaking and hope that there'll be lots of shadows out there. And it's a pretty narrow city, so it should be. <laughs> I think that um, this will help expedite our journey. Precisely. So, uh, thank you. Cl- I've never been inconspicuous in my life, so this is going to be... Oh, this will be a big help for well, you and for us by extension. <laughs> yes. Well, everyone, just make sure you stay close to little old Bertie here and keep me nice and safe. It should go <laughs> swimmingly. <laughs> oh, yes, that checks out. Time for a conga line again. Yeah, conga line, am I right? Sure. <laughs> Yeah, I forgot C- Newman was the conga Probably can't remember conga line. Yeah, you're so, yeah, the yeah. conga master Newman. Yeah. So you guys you guys are in the south ward. Yeah, we're um, sneaky sneaky. And you need to get to the gold ward. Which yeah. <laughs> we do we do we attempt that. I either you can you can essentially cut through the town centre or you can sneak through the south ward um, going around. It's Depending on how many cultists you see, it's still probably going to take a. It's it may take a couple of days. Yeah, it's um, going to take a while. We're going to try and if at you least... want to avoid combat. Yeah. Um, and avoid being seen, like in, avoid being seen, and in doing so, avoid combat. Yeah. Um, there is also the risk that if you aren't stealthy about it, that word could get to higher ups, which could. Yes. Up the challenge along the way. Too. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> well, I don't really have a brain for that, so I'm going to leave it to the professional sneaky people. <laughs> I feel like the um, town centre is going to be a lot more uh, open, and there is, I mean, it's the centre of town, so I feel like... That does make sense. Uh, with the amount of people that are in um, panic at the moment... That's going to be a very uh, compact area for um, all sorts of activities. So maybe we should sneak through the south wall. Oh yeah, I've spent a little bit of time in this city, and that doesn't sound like the best approach. Yeah, you you would also know that it's it's going to be a bit harder to find spots to stick to the shadows in the city centre. Yeah, too. Fantastic. All for sneaking. All Let's right. Do some sneaky, sneaky. We so, sneak. Um. We're, we're going to conjoin this into a couple of stealth rolls over okay. the course of a day. We're not going to go every hour necessarily, but I think because of the nature of you having those warlock slots, yeah, you guys can essentially um, go for... Like, if you wanted if you wanted to, you could essentially go for two hours, yeah, take have a, a rest, rest yeah. for an hour, 
go another two hours, yeah. take a rest for a yeah. while. Um, if you wanted to press on for an extra hour or so, you can just use one of your cleric spell slots too. Yeah, yeah, um, precisely. But yeah, so uh, we're we're gonna roll. So because of that assumption, we're essentially going to uh, do it for every time, like for every trip between short rests. Yeah. No All worries. Right. So, everyone, for the first uh, set, roll me a stealth check. And that includes half room. Hey. It's a 21 for me. Yeah, so remember, everyone, it's plus 10 on top of your normal bonus. Oh, 31. <laughs> That's a 29. <laughs> 21, yeah, 21. <laughs> okay, um... 26 for Anya. Yeah. Um, and a 26 for Hafrin as well. Nice. Oh. 38. <laughs> oh. Far out. Well, it was 26 plus 12. Like, so, yeah, Bernie can't 38. even see Newman and he's like standing <laughs> right next God. to him. The, the plus 10 helps. He's like extra shadowy. <laughs> okay. Tanip. Tanip got a natural one. Oh, uh, Tanip. So that's, that's, oh, we're going to leave it behind. That's still like Gosh. a 13. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> With pass without a trace. I, it does technically fail, but enough of you passed. Yeah. Okay. I, I partitioned cool. some of my my grand total. <laughs> and give it to Tanip. Okay. So you take... You, you help yeah. shield her. So you take a short rest and you're able to go for another couple of hours. Excellent. So each... Yeah. So basically, the check will get progressively harder as you go throughout the day. Yeah, that's fair. So the first, the first check of the day is always going to be the easiest. You as tell us that now. <laughs> yeah. As well, because there's not as many people up. I can also imagine, like, if Bertie's just constantly casting this spell that he's just come up with, it would like his likelihood to be like hold it up for that well as well would be yeah. less. So that does make sense yeah. to me. All right. I so like you it. take your one hour rest. Is there anything you want to do? Uh, you at this point in time? Um, Bertie's just like resting a lot because he's yeah, yeah. It's tired so yeah. <laughs> he doesn't really want to talk to anyone okay. while that happens. Alright. Okay, uh, so the next yeah. step of the trip. Don't let us down this time, Tanip. Wow, I'm actually rolling yeah, well not, this time. She's not letting you down this time. Good girl! Tanip rolled a 31. <laughs> Because <laughs> natural 19 plus 2 plus 10. Nice, nice. So, I got a 28. 28. Hafrin got a 21. Anya got a 15. Ooh. Okay. Pretty sure I got a 21. Ooh. Okay. Ooh. A 30 for Bertie. <laughs> 30 for Bertie. Yeah. yeah. All right. 30 flirty. <laughs> so enough people passed it. Oh, boy. It's Good fun. girl turn up. All right. Okay, so... Uh, another rest, so it's been six hours into the day. Oh boy, old oh, Bertie's probably, getting a bit exhausted yeah, now. Yeah, you can probably do. You can probably do one more of these before it becomes, uh, yeah, a bit more. Exhausted. Yeah, so Bertie is looking not not very well now, but he's li- he's, he's sweating a little bit. Yeah. Wait, so hold he looks on. extra fake. <laughs> yeah. Are you maintaining like this? Yeah, it's a concentration yeah. spell. Oh, so okay. So that so should have been a 25. Oh, yeah. And a 31. That's fine. We're yeah. safe. So yeah, basically so every- because, yeah, because Birdie's got those rechargeable warlock spell slots. Yeah, he's um, just casting it again At second again. level, he can go like, okay, okay, we'll do that without expending yeah. ev- even his cleric spell okay, slots. Okay, cool. Yeah. If you wanted to press on further at some point, then you could start expending cleric spell yeah, slots. Yeah, that's it. What's the city like? Is it quiet now? Um, yeah, so, like? yeah, as you as you go through the sea, you know there there are bits that are that are quiet, but there's also areas where there are like collectives of cultists. Um, this would be really tense. Then imagine I was just like leaping from shadow to shadow. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And so yeah. It's like, all right, it's clear. And yeah. Just like, that's a really tense I can imagine that hours. like yeah. none of us are really speaking to each other. Like usually when we're traveling, we're yeah. Like, <laughs> annoying each some other. nonsense or yeah. another and everyone's like, really tense it's silent and everyone's just tense which is like expeded by uh both Bertie and Anya having their own respective uh <laughs> visits the night before yeah yeah true I mean, this is just hard for, for Newman because he really likes talking <laughs> yeah. yeah yeah actually true. uh 
Rook and Newman, can I check your passive perceptions? Oh, mine has Ooh. gone up, I'm pretty sure. It's 12. 12, okay. 13. 13, yeah. <laughs> nice. So only Anya and uh, Bertie would pick this up. But at one point when you're sneaking around and passing a point where there are a bunch of cultists, mm-hmm. um, you overhear a couple of them talking to each other. Oh, have you seen the size of the diamond the boss has got? Oh, it's... Ridiculous! Blood red! Blood oh. red! Oh, oh no. <laughs> oh, it's going to be worth so much more. Well, she needs it for the ritual, don't she? She needs it. Come. Bollocks. Yeah. Um, and, and I just keep talking nonsense, but it, you, well, do, you do. Does pick Anya up pick on up that. on any response that Birdie might have? Roll, roll me a perception check yeah, for that okay. one. Uh, that's 20. Dirty. 20. <laughs> um, just roll me a deception check. Like, yeah. uh, like it's not necessarily active, but it's it's still like... Casual just, trying to... Yeah. Screen it. So 14. 14. Yeah, yeah. so you, you, know, you notice there's some sort of reaction at the idea of a blood red diamond from Birdie, and it's not the usual reaction of like, of like oh, ooh. that sounds valuable. Mm. She notes that away in the good old head noggin. Mm. Like, yeah. like, beyond that, it's hard to gauge what the reaction actually was. I guess but. you could probably literally feel, like, the um, the shadow thing that he's um, channeling, like, it would pulse a little bit. Like, it's not like, it wouldn't zap off, but it waves mm-hmm. a bit. Yeah. Cool. All right. Cool, cool, cool. All right. So, one last stealth check for the day. <laughs> for the 28th of He's looking very haggard by now. Okay, cool, cool, cool. cool. Don't forget to add the... Okay. okay, so... So Tanner was 23. Rook? Other than that one, so that's 11. Mm. Anya? Uh, so Anya herself got... Uh, whatever 24 plus 9 is. <laughs> A lot. 33. Um, <laughs> yep, there we go. And... Uh, Hafrin got 21 plus 2, so 23. Alright. Um, wait a sec, I'm just trying to... Um, 30 Newman? cents. 30 cents. <laughs> and Bertie. Uh, 27 for Bertie. So yeah. it's like it's going down in increments, which I like, just as a flavor thing. Oh, yeah. That plus 10. Like that yeah. yeah, that plus oh, 10. Oh, um, so yeah, no, Rook failed for that one, but everyone else scored high enough to. Oh, fear. <laughs> excellent, excellent. Cool to stuff. To kind of help out. I can imagine, like, just for flavouring's sake, um... What kind of armour are you wearing? Are you wearing armour, Rook? Um, She's naked. <laughs> She's a barbarian, so but, I can't yeah. imagine she would be. Yeah, they usually yeah. have an armour defence. Are you wearing armour, I think I'm wearing white armour. Uh, yes, he does wear armour. I think it's chainmail or something. Chain shirt. He's right. wearing a chain shirt and those weird side guards that he has in his mini. Because... We won't, we won't redo sexy. it for today because it my oh, but that would affect my it. bad yeah, that's for right. forgetting um, because it's not something that usually that really has come up in my games before too mm. much. But uh, change oh no change shirt so it's a change shirt he wears. Yeah, it's a change shirt. Yeah, no, that doesn't uh, cause cool. disadvantage. Cool, cool, cool. You just, are studded leather. Right? Studded leather, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah you're studded leather. That's literally your rogue, rogue leather. Peeps. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I just love how so like none a... of you are wearing uh, disadvantage. Excellent. Uh, cool. We don't have to worry oh, about this. I love at it all. how like you might like jingle away yeah. with your change shirt, but it doesn't give anything away. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Still it's still full. It's like it's right next to him. You know, it's the, the yeah, you know the, leather as well. Yeah, a really nicely fitted change shirt. You know. Mm-hmm. No, for flavoring, I can imagine um, at one point Rook like as we're sneaking past like a group of cultists steps on like some twigs and Anya just yeah. quickly like pulls a behind like a building yeah. and just like puts her hand over her mouth and then it's like fuck hot <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but like it's that like sort of action and aid that stops yeah yeah from yeah i like magic yeah. all right things. yeah for sure and uh does someone want to roll an investigation check to find somewhere to uh rest for the night yeah not 
the, the right uh, voice. You <laughs> probably would be best. I mean, I was gonna try it, but That's unless crazy. anyone's super <laughs> keen, and if it's only one person, I think uh, you're I probably th the best at it. Yeah, like, yeah. Being, yeah. being the one with like I mean, you've got could, the highest. Could I assist because I'm men yeah. Would you have can, done you can it. assess. So roll with advantage. Because like you're, I'm assisting to do this, do the actual magic channel thing. And Birdie also broke into the last two places. Um, that's 19. Oh. 19. Okay, so you managed to find a decent place to hold, hold yourselves up for for the night. Thank uh, goodness. All right. Just another um, decrepit storefront, or what? like, is or is it like a know? mansion? Can I play on the on the grand piano? Is it just someone's house? Oh, the mansion. <laughs> um, this this seems to be a, a just an abandoned. Uh, Freshly abandoned because of the cult activity, mm. um, but an abandoned, nonetheless, tavern. Okay, cool. Does it have uh, a flat roof hole. or a slanted roof? Uh, slanted. <laughs> okay. okay, so Bernie, like, can we get in there? He instantly drops it and then just, like, s like just drags himself over to the bar <laughs> and crawls behind it. Are you okay, Bertie? <laughs> is there is there alcohol behind there, Darby? Uh, roll me an investigation check. <laughs> Um, sixteen. Sixteen. Uh, you fi you find some of the you find some of the cheap stuff. He holds up uh, a bar. He's like, I'm fine now. Right, Don't well, bother me. Newman comes up and he like sits on one of the bar stools that isn't tipped over, and he goes, <laughs> "Some of your finest cheap stuff, please." <laughs> Anya's gonna search um the back rooms for some food or rations or stuff that hasn't gone off Good yet. Idea. All right. Yeah. Would that just be investigation? Uh, yes. <laughs> yes, it would. Uh, that's a 12. 12. Um, yeah, you don't really find much, so you'll have to rely on your own rations. That's tonight, fine. Basically. She comes back out, she perches herself on top of the bar, <laughs> right. and she uncorks a wine. <laughs> I will say, um, when Newman's like the finest of your cheap stuff, Bertie looks very exhausted, but he kind of crawls up and then he does like a really nice, fancy kind of pouring. Like, he gets out a glass and does like a really fancy pouring thing. For you, sir! He takes it in, he goes, he, he drinks it again. This is really good cheap stuff. It is, isn't it? And he just plops back down the floor just to drink the bottle. Bertie's exhausted, but he's committed to the bit. Like <laughs> that's such an amicable quality. <laughs> All right. So, who's taking watch? Uh, Anya will take first watch. Okay. Roll me perception check. He's always terrified. Oh, me. thank. Freaking goodness. Uh, that's a 25. Oh. Sorry, this one particular All dice right. hasn't been rolling very your, well. Your watch passes uh, uneventfully. Thank goodness. Right. And who's taking the second watch? Second watch. Hooray! A which, full night's yeah, sleep! Yeah, which will mean that uh, yeah, Newman will probably have to get up. To oh, yeah, because you're buggered, hey? Yeah. 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 Chill. Sure. All right. Rook, perception, <laughs> well. please. Five. Oh, Rook. Tommy just smiled then. No. <laughs> uh, uh, nothing appears to happen. Cool. Nothing appears you don't, you don't, to you don't happen. Take note of anything. Oh, no. All right. Uh, you, met. you think that five was impressive? Just wait till you see my natural one. Oh, no. It's, it's got a one in there. but. <laughs> Thank goodness it's not just a one. 16. 16. Oh, grim. All right. Uh, you notice that there seem to be figures waiting outside. Oh no! Outside one, where? Outside the tavern. But like, when like on on one side at the front door. Um, actually, I might need to adjust. The outside, it's out, outside, <laughs> yeah. yeah, outside the front. Uh, the front door of the tavern facing him onto the street. Oh no, he planned this all along. <laughs> I mean, we, we were bound to take a few rests. Yeah, so. that's it. Look, it's, it's fair. We it's managed fair. to get through a whole day of not fighting, so. That's true, there's some good stuff. Yeah. Alright. So yeah. I just um, got so excited when I looked, leveled up and went, yes, I'm taking that spell. That would be perfect yeah. for this so, situation. Um, I'm going to have to adjust where the camera is pointing. Darby's so setting up his battle cam. He's very excited. 
tavern. Which one's the tavern that we're so in? So you see, you see, so you're in the, so the large building here cool. is a tavern that has like a second story to it. Um, so. Oh, then Anya's sleeping upstairs. <laughs> All right. All right. So we'll just put you to the side here. So you represent being upstairs, which is off of camera. Uh, That's fine. I'll just have to paint a word yeah. picture. <laughs> <laughs> Which would mean Hafren's with you. Um, so Newman, you are downstairs because taking watch. Um, and Bertie, you'd probably be upstairs in a room. Yeah, you? probably. Oh, he's he's taken how many Darby? How many bottles of wine can I have taken with me? Oh. <laughs> it's a tavern. Roll me an investigation check for that in particular. Okay. Um, so... 13? 13. So you managed 13 to get... Of yeah. <laughs> yeah. 13 you bottles of wine? You managed to get three bottles of... Excellent. Okay. Cheap, but okay wine. Cheap, Moderate but okay. Wine. Yeah. Two and, a qu- uh, two and three quarters. Um, <laughs> yeah. Oh, this is probably on I'm top of them. I'm guessing you would be upstairs as well, Rook. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Sneezing. All right. So this figure, it's a bit hard to make out what they look like in the dark. But they just seem to be, like, the main figure is humanoid in shape and size and just seems to be waiting there, watching the entrance of the tavern. Oh, that's creepy. Um, and there are these uh, four smaller figures with it. Hmm, okay. All right. Well, I think top priority is to try and get upstairs. Yeah. So I might sneakily go upstairs. All right. Very sneakily. Um, if I need to, I will use feline agility. If it's an yeah, initi- if it's right. a an initiative thing, but um, yeah. All right. I'm going to very sneakily go up the stairs. All right. Uh, ro- yeah, roll yeah. self check. You don't have the benefits of class without a. Oh yeah, yeah, this one. Yeah. He don't that's need them. <laughs> uh, that's a twenty-eight. Twenty-eight. Oh boy, Let's you rogue. This guy's perception is. It's a uh, Not enough for hey. a long shot. Oh, so. wow. What a surprise. His perception it's couldn't get a 28? Mm. What? <laughs> oh, consider me No, it actually gust. couldn't have. So <laughs> it could have gotten close, but mm. yeah. Um, yeah, so um, you see... I, I might head to Anya first or yep. anyone who is with Anya. Yep. Or can I just say I go and contact them all? Uh, yeah, you can go through and contact them all. Okay, cool. But first, I'll go off to you. And I'll be like, I was sleeping. There's people outside. I can't see them very well. I feel like you would have a better idea seeing them. Are there windows on the second? Be very side? sneaky. Yes. Can she like <laughs> stealthily peer out the window or like? Or Hafrin. Hafrin. And <laughs> yeah. In the meantime, roll, roll I'll go and tell to, you guys oh, as yeah, well. Sorry, have, no she Hafrin, phases, roll me a stealth check. Um, I've also gone to. Your room as well, and let you know. Fourteen, but he is a bird, 14. so to just be like a bird on the windowsill inside at the night, which is suspicious. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> but so because you're the one looking, roll roll me a perception check with Anya's um, perception modifier. Nice. It's a nat 20. 20. Excellent. All right. So you see this figure is... uh, Which is a 26. It's By by this point, the sun is starting to come out. Mm -hmm. Um, And you see see that this figure uh, is uh, heavily armoured in plate uh, plate armour. I like that. Uh, Has a a great sword... um, holstered on their back as well as a short bow by this and the just a simple set of arrows by its side surrounding them uh, are these weird waxy glob like beings uh, that you've seen around these are some sort of devil um, that you've seen but not yet encountered directly Paris Hilton, how's the wax? <laughs> it's Paris Hilton. Um, Anya sort of turns to Newman and whispers, she's like, maybe we should uh, wake the others and try and sneak out to the back. They're 
already awake. You do notice ready. also with that high uh, perception check that uh, that there's no back door. There's only one entrance. Suckers. There's that. But also, <laughs> seriously, uh, I yeah. was joking. That's yeah, that a fire hazard. Is a, yeah. Holy shit! This tavern. This is medieval. <laughs> this is also like relatively cheap area not like you're not in the gold ward yet yeah but like they still get deliveries surely they need a back entrance maybe, there's windows maybe it's, back maybe entrances it's not, are always it's very important accessible though to patrons yeah there, there isn't an easily accessible back entrance anyway okay in that case i'm um, going to amend what she said and retcon it she's going to be like i'm going to sneak onto the roof to get a better vantage point. Actually, so there is, there, there is, sorry, but it is like right backing onto this waterway. So you basically, so they can get their deliveries basically through the boats. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Um, but yeah, it's, as you said, still a bit of a fire hazard. In, oh yeah, for not sure. not as accessible secondary exit. Yeah. Um, but, what I was going to say is that with that perception check, you do notice that his eyes block with half rooms. Oh. And he reaches for his sword. Okay, so I've already spoken with these two, so up. they're awake and ready. Oh, yep. so yeah. they know we're here. Or they know that a bird is here, and he's suspicious of the bird? Actually, no, it wouldn't be his sword, it'd be his bow. Oh. And he knocks an arrow. No. And just holds it there. Only the birds. <laughs> she's yeah. just yeah. to half and she's just like act bird like. <laughs> 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 it's a fair thing for her to say to him. <laughs> yeah. Considering. <absolutely>. Yeah. <laughs> considering certain things. Well. About Hafron. Indeed. Half Five percent spell. <laughs> Darby is decisions. literally physically acting like yeah. Hafrin at the moment. Uh, does that dissuade him? Should Hafrin roll uh, deception? <laughs> deception. Deception. Yeah. 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 <laughs> deception. Well, he's That's not going to have either deception or performance, so it'd be a charisma check. I just yeah. Straight charisma. Oh, way, which yeah. is, for him isn't great, but but he's so cute. Oh, he, 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 he should have a high charisma. He is one suspicious boy. That's a two. Oh no, two. Darby, yeah. what does he do? Um, yeah, so this is suspicious. He's he's let loose that arrow. <laughs> don't be suspicious. No, don't be suspicious. Now, fortunately, it is just outside of. I think I think it's just outside of the. It is within range, but it's dark. So yeah. he does get disadvantage on this. Okay. Don't be suspicious. Uh, Don't be suspicious. Eight plus that is a fourteen. What is Hafrin's AC? Thirteen. No. Oh, and Anya is blind. Oh, oh no. Fucking of course. <laughs> <sighs> That's all right. Um, Here we go again. Uh, as do, soon as that happens, an item that can remedy. That. Yeah, uh, she grabs the gem of seeing yeah. um, and says oh. the command word, which I will come up with one uh, at some point in the future. Yeah. Unless any suggestions for a command word to spawn Hafrin. To see. Say, rise. <laughs> um, no, this is for the gem of seeing. Um, uh, to see. I'm sure we'll think of a good part. Yeah. We'll think of something witty and yes. hilarious at a later date. Um, and she. What about icy? I see. She, I spy um, with my. <laughs> really quickly removes she her. Uh, oh, she would have already had it removed actually, because she never put it back on after. That battle. Oh, oh. The eye band. Ah, oh, yeah. 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 Because yeah. that's mainly to not scare the common folk. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right. So, um, yeah, at this point, everyone roll for initiative. Um, the other thing is the belt 
that this guy is wearing seems uh, to be especially shiny. Ooh, shiny. Oh, which half, probably, oh, probably, probably, which Hafrin probably was around. contributed yeah. to Yeah, that's probably Hafrin's why Hafrin was so suspicious, because he was like, ooh, shiny. You couldn't pay attention to being okay. like a normal, normal um, reader. Which I just want to point out that while that's a character thing that, you know, I brought up and came up with, it's not because he's a raven. <laughs> like, that's who he is. Oh, yeah. Well, I mean, he's, he's been an octopus. not a raven. He's been an octopus in the past, so <laughs> he just likes he just whatever likes entity Hafrin is. He just likes shiny things. But he can relate. He can understand. No judgments here. I mean, it does make sense considering his origin. <laughs> True. Mm. Oh, I love Hafrin. Uh. <sighs> Listeners... If you're listening to this as a re-listen in the future and you know what Hafrin is by now, draw his true form. I would love it. I mean... <laughs> I will pe- fucking cry. People have probably worked it out from what oh, happened yeah. in the last episode. I have draw undone. your interpretation of his true form. I will literally cry. Uh, uh, I'll film it. <laughs> All right. So, yeah. Three. <laughs> yeah. So, 25 to 20. Yes, it's a 22. (laughs) Sorry, I had the maths done and then. Also a 22. Um, But he has the high deck. Yeah. Uh, Nice. Don't be suspicious. Don't be suspicious. Don't be suspicious. Don't be suspicious. Okay. Uh, 15 to 20. Nope. You can go, keep going down. Uh, 10 to 15. Nope. <laughs> so due to um, feral instinct to fate, I get advantage on initiative rolls, but I rolled a five instead. Oh. Um. <laughs> she Hi, my name is Laura, thing. and I rolled a three for Bertie. <laughs> I I don't know how to impersonate actual people. Um, uh, did that sound anything like Laura? No. <laughs> Why don't you? I, I think Bert? I think Johanna probably have the best uh, yeah. chance. <laughs> Yeah. But still, don't know how. I think you could you could probably lower your voice a few pitches, like yeah. a, a tone or two, and that'd probably get reasonably like close if you can voice. also, yeah, and like the inflection as well, because you have s- different inflections. Um. Um. um how are we doing for time mark on this episode, Dov? Uh, I forgot to set my timer. It The video's been recording for an hour 24. Audio's been recording for an hour 22. So, we'll, we- pro- yeah, we'll basically have this combat and then a bit of the aftermath of it and then cut the episode. Yeah, I was going to say, did we want to cut it now-ish and uh, then before there's- combat? Or... No. Is it a relatively short combat? It should be relatively short. Cool. Um, All right. So, Newman. Uh, I'm tossing up between two different spells. I think I'm going to use my... Fairy Fire again. Fairy Fire. Just because that was... It seems like it's going to do a better job, given so the what's, what's, stature of this what's guy. What's the area of effect on Fairy Fire? So the Fairy Fire is a 20-foot um, cube, cube within and range of 60 feet. So 60 if I need feet. to move closer to a window or anything? Uh, yeah, probably. Um, so where you're at, you can, yeah, you can get any, any kind of cube. You can, uh, like, you can get three of the little glob creatures. I definitely want it on the or guy. you can get... Okay, so you can get the guy and two. one of the glob creatures. Only one? Can I get the two on his... I guess for you it'd be his right? Um, uh, including yeah, so these two... Yeah, these yeah. two you can just... With him. Yeah, within, yeah with I'll do him. that then. All right, so, and what save is it? So that one there, I'm pretty sure, was a dexterity saving throw. Um, All right. Uh, I'm guessing a 21 beats it. Yes. Uh, although, so uh, one of them, one one of the waxy creatures failed. Check. 
So it was a dexterity 13, by the way. Yeah. Well, one of them rolled a uh, a three. The other rolled a natural 20. Yeah. And he rolled, like, a 19 plus yeah, fair bonus. Damn, son. Yeah. Um, all right. So, and that's your action, is it? If that was my action for so my bonus what? action, I might try and... Um, hide, I guess. There's not not much else I can really do. Um, yeah. No. I'll, I'll. All right. Uh, Anya. Um. Okay. So, quick question. Uh, Rook and Birdie, I and Tanip, I guess. Are we all staying in the same room at um, the top here? Or are we all together? Or? You you basically had run of the tavern if you wanted to have separate Look, I'll what, honestly as say- characters would you have done? Well, I did collect you guys previously and told you, you to get rid of them. You worked them, but whether yeah. they... I would have wanted to stay in the same room if it makes more sense. I will say Bird, he's probably gone and found his own place. Yeah. And hold himself away because that's him. <laughs> that's all right. But yeah. yeah that- Rose birdie at least. So, yeah. so th- know that something's it's only a on. small tavern, so there aren't too many rooms anyway, but Yeah. It yeah. Is. It Okay, it was just a sort of um Yeah, no. Figure out who's gonna see this. All right. yep. So um It'd be half her movement to climb, wouldn't it? Because yeah. I kinda want her on the roof, but it also makes her an easier target. So we're not gonna do that yet. Um, but she's going to sort of step up to that window. Can she do that? Or is there uh, yeah. another window So you can essentially swap nearby? places with Hafrin. Um, not within the room, no. Hafrin's gone. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's right. <laughs> um, right. Now, because she did activate her gem of seeing, she can... She now has true sight. Yeah. So um, she can see fucking everything, yeah. my dudes. Um, oh, no. Now... Uh, Rook um, Newman and Tanip if she's up here too though I imagine she probably stayed with Birdie mm-hmm. um, it's up to Tanip maybe she didn't want to stay with Birdie you so see- a monster with true sight can, or a character with true sight can out to a specific range which I believe is 60 feet on the gem uh Specific. 120. 120. Ooh. Okay, yeah. So, see in normal and magical darkness, see invisible creatures and objects, automatically detect visual illusions and succeed on saving throws against them, and perceive the original form of a shape changer or a creature that is transformed by magic. Furthermore, oh. the monster can see into the ethereal plane within the same range. I just figured something out, but that's a cool thing for later because it didn't happen this time. Um, okay, so Newman and Rook. Uh, you see Anya step up to the window and something really unusual happens. Uh, she casts out a hand and you see this crackling red and Darby just logistics wise, it's not what you think it is, mm. I think, because it's not the one that would pertain to the true site. It's the other one. I'm, I'm assuming this is Hex. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we did. We did explicitly yeah, yeah. say this in um, the episode last week. So, but yes. would Hex use like utilize another language? Uh, what kind of components does it have? Yeah, it has it has a verbal component to it. So you could you could have it have another language if you wanted to. Okay, could it encompass a language that she doesn't know? though as long as she just knows that as the spell i, I would say just for because, flavoring because it's the arcane essentially the arcane word rather than being something you necessarily yeah so it'd be in, yes. like what you infernal for yeah definitely. yeah so does anyone speak infernal uh, i think you two. does I'm pretty sure i definitely do not. <laughs> <laughs> i'm pretty sure i do i think it'd be on the front sheet yeah front sheet Yes. Oh no, I speak primordial. Oh, okay. <laughs> so neither of you understand what she's saying, but like these words that sound demonic and awful uh, spurt out of her mouth as like there's this red uh, infernal crackling at her fingertips um, as she reaches out to uh, this main guy um, 
And just for flavoring, why not? Her eyes are sort of crackling a little bit red too. All right. Um, or the scarring, I should say, around her eyes. But like, and he is... Are you wearing your blindfolds? No. No, no. Which ability are you going to choose for him to have disadvantage on? So it's not saves, but any ability checks he makes with a given ability, he has disadvantage on. Perception. Perce- uh, no? Ability score. Ability. Okay. Um, whatever perception is. Wisdom. Wisdom. All right. Yeah. So he has disadvantage on wisdom checks. Okay. Cool. Um, and that's a bonus action. Okay. So yeah. for her main action, I love Hex. <laughs> um, for her main action, she's going to try and hit him with her longbow. All right. Of warning. And it shits me that she doesn't have advantage on this, but that's fine. <laughs> because her s- uh, sneak attack dice got upped yes. as well. <laughs> oh. Oh, that's a shit roll. 14? 14 will miss. Okay. It just, it makes contact with the armor, just bounces off uh, yep. impotently. All right. Um, and then she moves so she's not within sight of the window. All right. Um, okay. Oh, I need another D6. Okay. So I didn't even think so about it. So next is Tanip. Uh, on, Tanip. Tanip is... Uh, what's she going to do? Um, Apologies for the dice. Please. What's she going to do at this point? Um, I think she's... Yeah, she's going to say to... to uh, she's going to turn to Rook quickly and say... You can get down there. I can do something really cool. Um, <laughs> just, uh, uh, yeah. But for now, I guess I'll do this. And she she does her usual bonus action spell on the crossbow, and then uh, bonus, bonus action on the crossbow, uh, and she's gonna do uh, cold da- uh, lightning damage. And she's going to let loose this time two shots from the crossbow because it is now also a repeating shot bow. Because oh, nice. she took Chance. that infusion. Excellent. So that mm. it's actually possible to That's make awesome. use of dual Good job, attacks. Tanner. Uh, the first attack is a natural 19 to hit, which will oh, hit. Oh, good girl. Even first, he might bonus. The second that. is a natural one, though. Oh, no. It's all so or nothing. She's, st- she's still kind of getting used to getting out so many shots so quickly. Mm. Um, but she still manages to do... Uh, so, repeating shot. So, uh, three, five, six... So seven points of damage all up to the main guy. Um, so take that. Yeah. Uh, um, all right. And now it is the turn of the creatures who are going to slowly walk towards the building. Um, they're not very fast. <laughs> Um, but they're not gonna. Uh, do they have a ranged attack? They don't really. Um, yeah, no. So they're Which just gonna start. Which is very funny. It's gonna take them a very long time to get up. There. You say that. So <laughs> this one climbing? starts climbing up the building and almost adhering to it. Yeah. Be right. Um, and this one does the same. Um, Okay. Oh. Yeah, so they're climbing up walls. So two of them are climbing up the outside wall. Ooh. The other two are going through the door. Um, Which is just stupid. So they're about the Let's two on the wall are about room. ten. What are they gonna do? <laughs> Open it. Done. All right. Um, so next is the main guy. Uh, he is going to. Uh, yeah, no, Tanip would, I forgot to get Tanip to duck back past there. Um, what does she sweet? So he's going to, uh, 
Yeah, no, he's he's going to uh, he's he's going to hold an action um, with his bow that as soon as yeah, well, yeah, you guys manage to see out of, you manage to see anyway out of the corner of your eye. He does knock an arrow, an arrow in preparation, in short bow in it seemingly in preparation. Um, he's knocked an arrow. <laughs> all right. Uh, next is Rook. Okay. Um, so how high is the window from the ground? <laughs> it's about... So your second story, so it's about 15 feet up. Are you going to superhero Easy. land this? <laughs> All right. <laughs> so I'm going to try to jump through the window. I'm going to get my axe out first. Blood Zeppelin. Oh, so I'm gonna try to jump out the window oh. and hit the creatures on the wall as I go down. Oh, use them to soften if, my legs. Is this, oh, is this the one? Yeah. So you can you can manage to basically <laughs> please yeah, do, do it with this one. So I'm gonna say roll me roll me an athletics yeah. check. Uh, please. She's very is buff. Ro- uh, She's roll a me jock. an acrobatics she be able to do this. For, or athlete, athletics or acrobatics for the actual leap out and then roll me an attack roll. Come on, Rook. Not to play devil's advocate, but um, would this trigger that guy's... It would. <laughs> Thank you. Take take inspiration for... Oh, nice. <laughs> for silly Rook out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. oh, that's 15 for acrobatics. I think this was my first experience. Fifteen. Oh. I, I think I. Hey, hey, you said fifteen and you rolled bad. <laughs> oh, okay. Um. And so, so you managed to make the leap out. Um, you probably can't get a swing at it with your axe, but you can still make an attack okay. with like an unarmed attack. Let's so try to land on be, it. Get, that'd just be a strength roll, basically. Nine. Yeah. That hits. These guys oh. aren't too strong. Yes. So yes. What it is is your strength. Your strength. Uh, because it's unarmed, um, it is just your strength uh, modifier plus one. So that's four damage. Four damage. Okay. Uh, <laughs> Does it take full damage? Yeah, uh, actually, yeah. It's going to have to. Uh, Wash them down off the wall. Yeah. It's yeah. So it is now prone. You okay. kind of land on it. Excellent. And do I take full damage? Uh, yes, you do. <laughs> you take six points of bludgeoning damage as you hit the ground. That's squishy. Yeah. Um, you also <laughs> Because take, she's just so big. <laughs> uh, as, as you are going down, an arrow hits you okay. in oh. the shoulder. Um, or in the chest, just under the shoulder. <coughs> and you take... Uh, Twenty-five points of piercing damage. Ooh, Better you than me, Norbert. Yeah. Um, and as I land, I start raging too. <laughs> yeah. Understandably. Yeah, that's fair. All right. So I, uh, I would say that's probably all your movement to do. Uh, to essentially get the running, like the jump you need, and uh, you could probably, you probably have about ten. Uh, probably, yeah. Yeah, that's about your movement, and you've used your action. I've used my. I've got yeah. two. I've got two. <coughs> uh, yeah, but you. Uh, uh, yeah. So you could. Yeah. So you could take a second attack right. against the. Yeah, I'll swing my uh, great axe. Yeah. Get him. Plus Fifteen plus seven plus. Yeah, that'll yeah. hit. <laughs> so this time you get to actually roll damage. Yes. Hooray! Damage. You have your fire damage as well. Oh, yep. And then three. And then 18 plus three. So, so nice. 21. So, yeah, you, you absolutely eviscerate this thing. Oh, yes. Excellent. Excellent. That's right. my helpful sound effect. Uh, apologies, listeners. All right. <laughs> Sorry um, for listening. Yeah. 
So this uh, sad, pathetic excuse for a devil. <laughs> wow. Wow. Darby. Uh, <laughs> he was down. Oh. I mean, it's your NPC. Oof. No, you should see the law behind what these things oh, are. Oh, okay. These, these are literal shit tier devils. <laughs> Ew. Ew. Does it smell? Oh, no. no. Okay. Like not li- like not literal shit. You said literal. literal. Yeah, yeah you, you made it sound you like that word. Like, that word. Maybe it's like, like what no, color no, are they? Maybe, maybe it's something else. You use oh. the term literal <laughs> shit. What's the what did you expect <laughs> from us? Is my axe shitty? <laughs> no, it's it's flaming. I mean, so these things are like a pale, so I like pale just, color. Yeah, like are they made of mayo? Okay, and Bertie with your three initiative. Yeah, so like Newman came up to Bertie, he's like, hey, quick, get up, there's some people in there. He's like, yeah, 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 another five more minutes, mom. <laughs> and so that's what he's been doing the whole time. Um, the whole six seconds. Yeah, yeah the whole six seconds. He's like, hang on, oh gosh. And so he's going to get up and um, go through things really quickly and go and find where the rest of you guys are. So he's yeah. going to move over to into the nether room. Yeah, so that basically to go around gets you there. Fantastic. The and so are these guys, because I was away for a moment, are these guys all like attacking out of the window, I'm assuming? Yeah. Cool, cool, cool. So you you don't have enough movement to get to the window and attack. That's okay. Um, um, maybe at least get to a point where they can see out the window. Uh, you can get a bit of a view, I guess not so not much from that. of the actual. That's all right. Um, your targeting. Okay. Um. So he is going to. Oh. All right. Well, I I can't do too much from seeing from there. There. So he's just going to, I guess. Um. I don't know. Defend. I suppose. All right. You could dash. If you're not going to take an action anyway, yeah. you could just dash. Um, oh, true. Get yourself oh. closer. Yeah. You've, you've, you've taken your rest, so you, yeah. can, you can do... Uh, you can cast, like, a spell in preparation or something if you so desire. Like, I'd like to, but the, a lot of the spells I have aren't useful if I can't, like, see them, I guess. Okay. Well, like, yeah, he'll just prepare. I'll just move forward in All right. the next move. All right. Um, He's going to wait and see if there's something comes jumping out of the window to attack you guys first before he rushes in. Okay. Fair. So, Newman. Um, just so my spell isn't wasted, that one that was affected by the fairy fire, the one that's currently yeah. gl- glowing a faint pink, is he climbing up the wall currently yes. or is he the one heading towards the door? He's climbing up the wall. All right. How far up the wall is he? Uh, about 10 feet up. 10 feet. So I wouldn't be able to attack him from the ground. Malay stuff. I'd have to do a, a window jump like my crook. Yeah. You could try and lean out the window and just whack, whack, whack. <laughs> could I? Lean out the window and go whack, whack? He's a bit far. You, uh, you, if you use like your feline speed. Um, you have a climb you could, speed, my dude. You yeah, just you, do you it. You have a climb speed. You could basically kind of <laughs> climb and sidle across to... You could go like all right. I'll, you I'll. you wouldn't be able. I would rule that you can only use one of your swords. Yeah, so you that's can't fine. Make your bonus action attack. That's but, fine. Yeah, it's it's definitely possible for you to kind of sidle along and whack him like that. Yeah, all right. Well, I will whack him like that. All right. <laughs> um, now I get advantage on this mo fo. Uh, this is the fairy fire. Yes. yes. Please be in that one. <laughs> yeah, I got three. That was that was pretty close, but no. So this one here, um, we'll make it with with. This is probably going to be so overkill for what this thing is. Yeah. <laughs> I just don't want that spell to go to waste, you know. Yeah. Uh, so I want to use Titania's needle. We'll, we'll give it a shot, and then uh, so that would be a twenty-two. Yep, that hits. Are you sure. Yeah, right. <laughs> cool. Well, I stab it. Hey. Rook hit with a nine before. <laughs> oh yeah, jeez. Now you'll have to uh, you'll have to forgive me. I'm learning with Google. this new rapier of mine. Because there's so many different things. Yes. So together. I believe that is four plus six, which is ten plus <laughs> the side damage. Twelve. 17 damage and 1d6 fire 
21 <laughs> damage. Yep. Overkill. <laughs> it, is, it is gone and it slops down onto the ground Jeez. and melts into like this ichor. Um, is it? Um, now, I only used... Oh, how much movement did I use to get up to him? It was 10 feet off the ground, but how much did I use? You probably use about 30 feet of movement. So you could bonus action move. Could I use my... Oh, did I use my feline agility just then? No. no. Could I use that to get back down then? And head towards the... Head toward... Yeah, within five feet of the guy, I'd really appreciate Well, yeah, I... Yeah. I'm yeah, like, can, I'm, how close is... He's, yeah. he's only about... Uh, so it's... 15 feet of walking away plus 10. So you can just bonus action dash to get to him. Not to metagame. I feel like that. Yeah, no, I just like wanted to get near something else. And do yeah, I have to can... bonus action dash or can I use my feline agility to do the equivalent of a dash? Um, you can feline agility it. And that should mean that I have a bonus yeah. left, which means I may, if you allow it, use my other rapier. Yeah. Sure. <laughs> so which? Big boy. Big boy. Alrighty. And it's the official name. Yeah, well, I mean, he, he seems like he's pretty big, but he's got this massive long sword and full plate, but he's only using his bow and arrow. It's, mm. Oh. What do you mean, oh? oh he's yeah. a six. How funny <laughs> yeah, yeah. Perfectly right. average. <laughs> and I'll hit him with my no, vicious five rapier. five would be perfect. However, I don't think this will hit. This is a... Uh, He's considerably harder. To 14 to hit, 14. which I believe was the exact same one you rolled yeah, so you, earlier. Yeah, so you kind of glance at him, but just, it, the rapier bounces off the armor. Yeah. Um, cool. Anya. She's going to, sorry, she's going to hit him with a longbow. Same yeah. guy. Now, keep in mind, where Newman was able to get, he's technically got partial cover from him, but that just means that the AC is upped a little bit for him. But you do have that, uh, not advantage, but you do have sneak, sneak attack, attack if you do hit him. Um, could she climb onto the roof to get a better vantage? Uh, yes, it would take pretty much all of your movement speed. That's fine. You've got left, but. That's fine. Yeah. She does that. All right. Um, she doesn't really plan on moving all right. otherwise. Um, and she's been a <laughs> long bow of mourning him. All right. Oh, thank goodness. I was so worried that wouldn't hit. That's a 24. 24, that hits. So, don't mind me. I'm you just going your, to get... It's four dice of sneak of attack dice. now, isn't it? Oh, yeah. Four dice of sneak attack, plus the d6 because he's hex, plus yeah. the d8 of regular damage. Anyone ready to watch this guy be smeared into the ground? Because yeah. I am. So, so, just... For the record, this guy, it doesn't matter, but for just make sure in future that you separate out that hex damage because it is necrotic as opposed to... Yeah, uh, I have so. a metal okay. dice to... Yes. Awesome. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's not as good as it could have been, but it's still all right. So four, eight, uh, 10, 12, 14, 17 points of damage. 17, all right. Which could have been Excellent. a lot better, but it also could have been a lot worse, so... Alright. Yeah, he seems annoyed by that. Uh, um, yeah, I can imagine. Um, yeah. And as her bonus action, she's going to attempt to hide on the roof. Alright. Um, roll, roll me a self-check. We'll say at disadvantage because it's not an easy surface to be hiding on. That's fine. Oh, that's not fine, but that's fine. Um, that's 14. Right. He could be distracted. Who knows? All right. Um, Tanip's go. Tanip, uh, yeah, you're still within range as long as she's at the window to do this. Um, she is going to say, okay, Rook, you ready for this? <laughs> uh, sure. And she throws a potion, like this vial <laughs> at you. The, vi the vial smashes against your armor and this liquid uh, pours over you uh, and you feel yourself and the, your equipment growing oh and yeah this is the enlarge reduce spell oh, oh hi rook yeah she truly is a giant oh. woman now i can imagine rook's like eye level with anya now <laughs> yes <laughs> Whoa. That's amazing. So you are you are twice your height. You are twelve feet. So not not with Anya. 
but you'd but be, close. You'd be eye level with Tanef. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty much. <gasps> you could have warned me for that, but yeah. Sorry, I just Anya could step off the roof onto oh, your t- head, oh. though she would burn alive. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> my shoulder, maybe. Um, <laughs> you. So your size doubles in all dimensions. Uh, your weight is multiplied by eight. The growth increases your size from one category. Uh, now you would have well and truly you squished have, that guy. Okay. You have advantage on strength checks, which you had anyway from rage. Strength saving throws, I think that's covered by rage anyway. But also your weapon also grows to match its new size. Um, while the weapons enlarge, you deal an additional D4 of damage with it. All right. And that is, I believe that's, I believe that is, um, uh, she's just, Tanith she, just cast That's up to a second you. concentration spell while she was concentrating. But this, this is a bit more, uh, effective. So, yeah, um. Double my life, I'm three minutes Yeah. Uh, so yeah, so that is, that is Tanith's go. Um, now it is the two Lemure's go. Oh, is that what they are? Yeah. And they then they're going to, gonna, having seen... Uh, actually, no, they'll, they'll continue on the inside. Silly. Yeah. Silly, silly billies. <laughs> Oops. All right. Um, next Ooh, is the, the big bad of the, the combat. He is going to... Oh, he hasn't... Oh, uh, because it's been... Ready to oh. So he is going to make three attacks against you, Newman, yeah. with his great sword. I will use my um, spring shield, however. All I right. feel like I will need it. Uh, the first is a 25 to hit. Yeah, that hits. Uh, the second is a 24. Yeah, that hits. And the third, ooh, uh, the third is a 27 to hit. Yeah, that hits. Um. Bye, Newman. Yeah. Bye. It's fine. It's fine. Bye, Newman. It's cool. I'm on it. So the first attack is 20 points of damage. Yeah. The second... This guy hits hard. Holy moly. Jeez. Um, yeah, that's cool. That's cool. The second is 24 points of damage. Yeah. Are you still up? Yeah. All right. And the third is... A 17 points yeah, of damage. Yeah, I'm dead. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I am staying on the roof. Thank you for that. <laughs> Sorry. All right. Um, all right, now it is Rook's go. Well, <laughs> can I just go and grab this one? You can <laughs> I, set- I want to grab him and throw him. Right, <laughs> grab yeah, him you and throw him away. <laughs> That's amazing. That's bad. No. How do right. you? You can, you can <laughs> suddenly try. <laughs> Definitely something you can attempt. Uh, roll me. So it would be, it would be an athletics check. An athletics check. Surely. Opposing his athletics check. Like, sh- yeah, uh, like you a get huge. advantage. Yeah, Big advantage. Big nice. Girl. Big girl. <laughs> yeah, so you you have him grappled. Yes. Um, that's your action, unfortunately. No, you have two attacks. Oh, uh, of course, yes. Um, um, can I? Actually, no. I think you can choose to. Like grapple as one of your attacks. So yeah, you could you could throw him as your other attack if you wanted to. <laughs> this is the best. This is the best. <laughs> Not close enough to <laughs> throw him over the building. Amazing. <laughs> over the building oh, into the river. <laughs> Fuck you, dude. <laughs> I'm Just throw him up. Aim for the river. <laughs> Um, 
You you can throw him against the wall. All right. Time to play handball. And then maybe later I'll throw him in the river. Yeah. So roll me, roll me. Yeah, we'll make th- we'll make this. Uh, yeah, an athletics check. Yeah. Seventeen. Seventeen. All right. Um, wow, this has run quite a bit longer than I thought it was. <laughs> yeah. So we might get to the end of this round, and have then a, we'll have a break. Uh, take a break. Well, so maybe this is all we need. Yeah, he hits the wall and uh, roll me. Let's say four d six oh, plus yeah. your strength modifier. Yeah. <laughs> He's some prepared. Bad boy. Uh, yeah. How many? I think it's plus two. Plus two d6? Oh, no, it's not extra dice. Oh, it's plus two. Uh, that's 22. Did I say 22? All right. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Uh. All right. And then it is Bertie's go. Cool, cool, cool. So I moved to the actual window. Yeah. So how far away is Newman from the window? Uh, from the window. He is about 20 feet. Okay, so Bertie, you see Bertie like a run to the window. He pauses for a moment and then just jumps and disappears. And he reappears next to Newman. All right. So um, this is, this is, ah, oh, your uh, face step. Face step, yeah, it's face step. All right. Um, and then. Give me them help. He puts his hands upon Newman in a very respectful manner, and he heals him. All right. Uh, what level spell are you doing that? Uh, we'll do second level, of course. Second level, so yep. 2d8 plus your wisdom. Yes, that's right. Um, so that is... He heals him for... Um, uh, 11, da- 11 hit points. Okay. <laughs> it's better than dead. Yeah. It's better than nothing. He doesn't really have that strong healing. That All right. She's right God, there. That guy was so much more beefy than I expected. And <laughs> that is the end of the round, and we are going to read the episode there. And Welcome back, back to the land of the living, Newman. Come back with Newman Thank and Anna's turn in the next episode. Sorry for listening. <laughs> Sorry for listening. Thanks, guys. Right. We love you.